Good evening, everybody. All right, tonight we're uh, we get a lot of uh, requests. I mean, I almost I get emails every single day of how do you scan or what's the best scanning softwares. And so tonight we have the pleasure of having Jeff Gibby with us uh, with MetaStock because we've he and I have worked together for a few quite a few years now setting up all the uh, signals and patterns for their software so that <clears throat> even if you're in the learning process, not even even in the learning process, if you're just looking to cut your time scanning every night, um, that, uh, that their software, which I highly recommend for a couple reasons, because it's probably the most comprehensive uh, charting uh, service that you will come across, number one. Number two, they've probably got what I would consider the best customer service that if you have any problems, they are more than helpful to make sure you get things right. So what I'm going to do right now is just kind of look through to say, all right, if we're scanning, what are we looking for? Obviously, we're looking for the best trades. Now, that's all of a function, too, that you want to see what the market is doing. And as we can see right now in this market, we've got a wave one, a wave two, Wave three, even though the market backed off today, we're still trading up above the uh, T-line. Now, is there some profit taking come into place? That's kind of the analysis that we want to be able to do. Notice what's happened in the NASDAQ over the uh, uh, last X number of months. Moves up for four or five weeks, trades off. Moves up, trades off. Moves up, trades off. Now we're kind of in that choppy area. So the analysis should be, are we still heading up? It looks like it. We're still having closed below the T-line. But what's that make for uh, a portfolio implication? That probably right now you want to be not only looking for long positions, but short positions in the portfolio. So. Through the years, uh, Jeff and I have kind of developed, I, I just gave them the signals, they were the one that developed it, of the scans to look for bullish and bearish patterns. I've got a couple out of place. I'm just going to show a couple right now that I scanned tonight for sell signals, and there's net tees, a hanging man, gap down, with stochastics in the overbought area. We can see in the past that we can scan for the kicker signal in NVIDIA, and if you observe the obvious, where, where did the uptrend end? At the bearish engulfing signal. Came back up again, where did the, barrier, where did the uptrend end? Bearish engulfing signal. So what should we be scanning for right now? Well, we're still scanning for maybe some long and short positions. NVIDIA still has a good prospect of going short, with maybe this being your next target to the downside or even further back down to the 200. So because of the visual uh, capabilities that we have with candlesticks, we can formulate how to do our scans. So not that we can't identify them. That's not how I want to say it. It's not so much so that we can identify the scans. It's so that the scans that we're looking for can be done instantly. We don't have to hunt through them. So in a matter of minutes, each afternoon, we can find the best long and short positions. So we've got things set up to where you can find the best friend signal. That was uh, what we saw today in uh, Amber Combrey Fitch. Hammer, Doji, Gap Up. That's our best friend. Belt hold signals. Those have very strong implications if you've wiped out all the sellers. So let's see the back since I clicked too quickly. We know that once we hit wiped out all the sellers, the belt hold is very simple. It opens well below the trading range, comes back into the trading range. What did this imply? It implied they took out all the sellers and the bulls sopped them up so there's no sellers in the way. Nice strong uptrend. So we're looking for not only the bullish engulfing signal or the left right combo, but the belt hold bullish engulfing signal left right combo. This gives us a supply of stocks to definitely uh, put on our, uh, what I call my bucket list, 
so that I have a bunch of good trade setups that I can go back and analyze. But I don't want to spend all evening hunting for these signals and patterns. That's why they're already, uh, why is it called a belt hold? Because the Japanese race traders say the two sumo wrestlers are fighting. One's trying to back out of the ring. The other one grabs his belt and pulls him back in. And they're back to fighting again. Let's see. Here's a, uh, whoops, I did skip it here. Here's our big bullish engulfing signal, an XON today. Uh, in a situation where closed right on the 50, positive open tomorrow makes this a very strong buy. Because you've got a big bullish engulfing signal. And a positive open would tell me they are confirming the bullish engulfing signal and not resisting at the 50 anymore. Or a big bullish engulfing signal with a booster. What did that tell us? That told us they were selling off, and all of a sudden there's a dramatic change of investor sentiment creating a buy signal with that acting like a booster rocket, giving you that much more power uh, heading to the upside. So I'm looking for anything that I can scan for like our inverted hammer. For those of you that are in the room uh, quite often, um, uh, you know what what we do because of the tw one of the 12 major signals is the inverted hammer. And unofficially, because we've never done a, or nobody's been able to do a statistical study of it, but I would say that 95% of the time or better, if you have an inverted hammer, and they open it, especially if they gap it open the next day, the probabilities, again, are probably 95% or better that you're going to be in an uptrend. So if we can analyze that, that they've gapped it up through this resistance level, and we're in wave three, we can pretty much calculate that wave three is going to have the same magnitude as wave one. So even if you have missed this move and saw this move, you already know what your price movement is likely to be. Was there a sell signal in the video, or is it likely to move up if there is a positive open tomorrow? No, I'm. I would suspect. Uh, let's see. Go back to the Nvidia chart. I would suspect. Again, this is where we use. Notice we've had a strong sell signal. They just can't get it back up, and then we had that Doji gap down. And where did it gap down? It gap down through the 50. And this is what we've been il illustrating in the uh, uh, the chat room. But there is a difference between a bullish signal, like a kicker signal, and a non-signal. This day right here, even though it opened lower and came back up, wasn't a signal. That's called, I think, what they call an in-neck uh, signal. That doesn't show that there's been a reversal. That just tells you that's probably just some short covering. So if it's not a signal, it's probably telling you there's going to be some buying. But as soon as it gets to the uh, first resistance level, start watching to see if they resist, which they did, which tells us that NVIDIA is still in a downtrend. Where's our likely target? Again, it could be here. It could be here. So now I forgot where I was. So bullish engulfing signal. So you, now you can analyze. I've got a big bullish engulfing belt hold left right combo with bullish confirmation. Now I can make a decision. And that strength, if it goes through this level, I can be buying. So what I don't want to be doing at the end of the day is spending most of my time scanning or going through trying to find the best signals. That's all done now because of the scans already set up, especially in Metastock where we've, uh, oh, I forget, Jeff will know the number. We probably did 18 or so of the best uh, signals. So the bigger the signal, the more likely there's it's going to be more confirmation. I'm sorry, what was that, Jeff? Okay. Uh, again, there's I believe a bullish it was signal. Uh, Jeff, are you saying yeah. something? I, I think okay. it was 21. 21, okay. So, again, when I'm scanning, I want to find the best signals fast because I want to spend most of my time <coughs> finding where the good charts are and then evaluating which ones of those charts 
are going to be the best trades for the next day. So if I see my inverted hammer followed by a gap up through a resistance level, that scan will tell me I've got a high probability I'm in wave three. If I've got a kicker signal, that's what I'm looking for because we know the kicker signal is one of your strongest candlestick signals. How are these scans formulated for one day or a series of days? Usually for one day, but that's what you're looking for because once you find the signal and you see what type of pattern, you, I mean, this is what is our alert, is the signal. You know what to expect after a kicker signal, a strong up move. And a lot of times the signals will illustrate um, pattern it may have come out of. Is this chart six months? It doesn't matter. It, you can make the chart whatever time frame you want. So if you want to see if there's a resistance level way over here somewhere, I mean, you can make expand this chart out as far. I just am looking at this situation right here. So because I'm pretty hard of seeing, I want to make my charts pretty big to see what type of signals I'm looking at. So we are looking for the patterns, like the scoop pattern, because we know what the results are coming out of a scoop pattern. Again, I don't want to be spending all day so, uh, looking for the patterns. I want to have the uh, scans have them right there for me where I can uh, uh, analyze which ones to, to go after. Uh, Carol, that's already done. That's, that's what Jeff is going to show you. Is, you don't have to search for a scoop. You just go through your scoop uh, uh, pattern. And it doesn't matter whether you're looking for bullish pattern scan or you're looking for sell signal scans. So right now, just real quick, bearish engulfing signal on BGBT. In order to close right here on the T line. So what's my prognosis tomorrow? Well, if we... See it's opening lower tomorrow, confirming the bearish engulfing and that the T line is not going to hold. Here yeah, you can go short. So um, let's see, is there a link to buy his books? Oh, CE, it's a, it's on the website. Go to products and services up at the top. So with that, I'm not going to take too much more time because I want Jeff to come on because they're Metastock software, which I highly recommend because it's very easy to use. You've got more chart information than most charts. Uh, oh, there's some that you don't get uh, oh, futures. You, you've got everything on on this on Metastock. So, um, uh, Scott, that is what you will be uh, finding out. So. Uh, uh, well, options, Jeff, are have nothing to do with the uh, charts. Options are just a method for you to buy what you're looking at at the charts. So is the software online updated frequently or just in a package? Carol, these are all questions. That's why we have Jeff here. Um, um, so with that, I'm going to close out my uh, charts. And so that you can talk option strategies, which is confusing to people in the main room. They're still learning how to just uh, trade off the uh, stocks. Um, uh, Daniel, yes, and I highly recommend it uh, also. So with that, uh, it's a great pleasure to have Jeff Gibby, one of my good friends, uh, uh, back here uh, with us. Uh, Jeff? Uh, okay. Can you hear me again? Or can you yep. hear me well? Yeah, here, <laughs> yeah I hear my... you good. <laughs> All, right. All right. Good to have you. Thanks, and, Steve. Uh, yep. All right, guys. Uh, thanks, Scott. Uh, I know you've been using Metastock for a long time. I know you very, very well. Uh, Daniel, thanks for using Metastock. Just, uh, we have a pretty good room here today. Um, and I just want to, uh, if you guys already use Metastock, will you just say so in the chat room? I'm kind of curious to know how many Metastock users that we've got here in the classroom. Stanton, thanks for using Metastock. All right. Cool. Well, welcome. 
um, as you guys are uh, saying yes uh, and that kind of stuff, I would, uh, I'll just kind of introduce myself a little bit. My name is Jeff Gibby. I work for a company called Metastock. And uh, in, uh, you guys will have, uh, you'll find this kind of a little bit interesting, but at the end of this very month, I think it's March 31st, if I'm not mistaken, I will put, have put in 20 years at Metastock. Pretty crazy, right? So, um, oh, Randy, that's great. Um, hopefully today will be a little bit helpful for you. Um, anyway, so I started in uh, the first 10 years I, I worked at actually in Inside Sales, which means if you called and you had questions about Metastock, you'd be likely to talk to me. Um, and uh, I'd ask you about what you're trading and what your goals were and your objectives. And, for about the last 10 years or so, I've worked in kind of various positions in the business development department, and now I'm in charge of it. And uh, it's been a very, very enjoyable job. I do all kinds of stuff. I do a lot of these webinars. And one of the things I most enjoy doing is I most enjoy working with people like Steve. And I am very, very grateful for Steve because um, I, I use his product all the time. It's been extremely helpful. Um, not, uh, uh, it's been an extremely popular product. Uh, he underplays it a little bit when he says that um, um, we did all the work. I remember hours and hours and hours spent with him and William in a little conference room trying to figure out kind of the best way to get the, the exact right fry pan bottom patterns and that kind of stuff. He did a really, really good job with it. But personally, I love the product uh, I, that I'm going to show you. Uh, it's one of my favorites of the ones that we've designed, and um, it's one that I use uh, very, very regularly, almost every day in the marketplace. Um, it's won uh, uh, um, um, multiple awards in stocks and commodities. They grade all of the plugins. Readers say which ones they like the most. It's won multiple times best software, uh, best add-on for any software, and. Um, I'm just really, really proud of the product. I, I love to talk about it. I love to show it. Got several things I'm going to show you that it does. And anyway, I'm kind of rambling. So let's get on to the most important part of the day. Today's demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock and the accompanying software plugins. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features in the software. The information software and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Metastock shall have no liability for any investment decisions based on the use of the software, any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. Take a little sip of that coffee. Um, Fabian asks a question. Um, does it work? Does Metastock work on a Mac? It does, but it requires a Windows environment. We recommend Boot Camp and a later version of Windows. Um, and as long as you meet those, we do have a lot of customers that use Mac. Um, okay, awesome. So, and if you guys have questions as uh, we come through, or as you come through, or as we go through this stuff, please feel free to ask. I'll try and kind of answer them to the best of my ability. Um, to give you an idea, there are already questions coming through about Metastock. So I'm going to give you a little bit of an idea of what that does. I'm going to let you look at this little um, uh, list of the patterns that we identify in the product while I talk about it. So in case you're not familiar with Metastock, Metastock is a broker independent software program. Um, it's been rated number one in its price category, again, by the readers of Stocks and Commodities magazine every single year since 1992. Um, we're not going to really kind of talk a lot about Metastock today, but it has been rated. It's a very well-established product, and uh, people buy it for really kind of our core power tools. Uh, our core power tools, so we're going to be talking a lot about scanning today and how scanning works. Obviously, scanning is something that you can do in Metastock, uh, but it also allows you to test a trading idea uh, against a stock or multiple stocks. Um, it allows you to get real-time alerts on a chart. If you're a member of our real-time uh, software, you actually get some of the best news on Earth. We, we, have, uh, we used to be owned by Thomson Reuters. Uh, now we're an independent company, but we also provide their news as part of our research services. And um, that's actually a pretty big deal. 
uh, if you're familiar with Reuters, uh, well, then you would know that they're about a $19 billion a year company, and 90% of that is selling their news to institutions and to brokers and stuff like that. So if you, if you like news, uh, Reuters is a great place, and we're a great place to get Reuters, I guess is what I'm saying there. Uh, and then it also does forecasting. It allows you to forecast trading ideas and that kind of stuff. Um, so I would encourage you to take a look at it. There's a reason that it's been rated number one in its price category every year since 1992. Um, it's a great software program. It's also, on a personal note, a great company to work for. So got that little blurb out of the way. And if you decide you want to try CPS, I'm going to let you try Metastock as part of that for free. The rates on Metastock start at about $59 a month. They go up from there, but it's a very, very inexpensive software program. Okay. Uh, Bob S. asks a question, do you offer Thomson Reuters Icon? Uh, we actually offer a program called Metastock Zenith. Uh, Metastock Zenith is a white label of Thomson Reuters Icon. So, kind of, is the answer to that question. Uh, so if you're interested in Icon, the difference is, is uh, you can't be a professional. We can't sell you if you are uh, uh, managing other people's money or work for a bank or a hedge fund. Uh, but we also have a significant price advantage if you're a retail trader looking to get Icon. So, Bob, that's a really, really good question. Um, and uh, yeah, we do have, we do offer Icon, and it's part of our Metastock RT. And um, if you have questions about that, you can give us a call. We can send you all kinds of information. Um, let's see. Uh, let me just type in the number here right here. It's one eight hundred eight eight two three zero four zero. Reuters Icon Harry is a. Um, the only reason I can even brought that up is a product that Reuters built. Uh, they built it. A few years ago, they've spent well over a billion dollars on it. it uh, they designed it to compete head-to-head -head with Bloomberg, so they sell it to their institutional clients. We, um, we're next to Thomson Reuters company. We white label their product. We call it Metastock Zenith, and it pretty much says icon all over it. Uh, Ahmed asks what, what time frame. Usually with kind of the trading that I do, Ahmed, I'm looking at a daily or and a weekly chart. Uh, but generally, uh, the position that I've been in right now, I've been in for about three weeks. I've modified it a few times, but I'm not really trading terribly frequently simply because I work a lot. Okay. All right. Let's get to the product a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. So there's a list of identified patterns. Um, I think it's about 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 20. 20 product. Uh, 20. And we basically kind of built these. And so when you apply uh, studies to the chart, they're going to automatically label all of those things. You can scan for all of these. They're broken down in these categories as scanning, things you can scan for. And uh, let me just show you how these are getting created in the software. I don't like to spend a lot of time in PowerPoint. I think it's a very, very um, dull way. Um, here is a chart, though, of Dow on a weekly basis. Okay. And I've got a few charts that are open that I'm going to show to you today, but I just want to get you an idea of how the product works. So what I've got here, this is Dow on a weekly basis. By applying Steve's template, it all already automatically applies all of his indicators. It applies all his uh, stochastic oscillator at the bottom. And it also, you'll notice, is identifying all these patterns for you. So whatever patterns it finds on the chart, just a few weeks ago, you had this left-right bullish combo followed by a slow curve followed by an incredible up move in the Dow. Uh, the market's just been, I hope you guys have been trading um, the last, well, this year. Uh, it's been an incredible environment for that. But it automatically identified these, so you can kind of go see where these formed on a chart. Again, this is a weekly chart. You can apply this to any template, uh, for, um, and it's going to label and identify them for you. And this is automatically. So whatever of those 20 patterns that were on that screen are going to be automatically be shown on the screen. One of the other things that I like about Metastock is you'll see um, uh, right here we had a slow curve. If you're new to Steve's methodologies or you kind of want a little bit of a refresher in terms of what that slow curve meant, you can actually go in and the software will tell you. So what I'm going to do is right up here at the top, you've got the view. I'm going to go ahead and open up our expert commentary. And this is a, a window that it, they call it a dockable window. I can put this on the side of the chart, and it just 
kind of maintains uh, the side of the chart. It stays out of the way of the chart. And I can kind of move this, uh, this back and forth. You'll see there's a little bit of an arrow. That means right now this is the bar that this commentary is analyzing. So there's not really a pattern uh, on this particular day. So it's not really telling you a lot. It's just basically telling you a little bit about the system, a little bit about Steve Bigelow, and giving you a little bit of a legal disclaimer. Uh, if I wanted to go see, though, what it would tell us on the slow curve day, if I just kind of put that arrow above the slow curve, it'll tell us a slow curve produces a long trading opportunity as the slow upward curve receives support from the T line, uh, which is the 8 exponential moving average. You can enter on this. You want to exit on any price close back below the T line. Okay? The specific criteria that created this alert are, and we kind of give you what we're looking for. We're looking for prices that are pushing up towards a resistance level. We're looking for a slow curving that appears to be consolidating uh, from 5 to 15 days. And we're looking for the slow line to be slowly curving up. Uh, positions can be bought as this slow upward trend progresses. So depending on the pattern that we're looking at, we're going to tell you exactly what we're trying to find here. And uh, in the case, in some case, uh, like if I come over to this left-right bullish combo, it's going to kind of give us exactly what it's looking for as part of that trading signal. Okay. Now if I go down a little bit, on a lot of these patterns, what you're going to do, or what you're going to find is you'll run a scan and you might have a lot of left-right bullish combos. Um, and so what we've put on some of these patterns is enhancements, things that you'll look for that makes the pattern be better. In other words, how can I judge this pattern to find the best left-right bullish compass according to what Steve would recommend? Okay? In this particular case, if we're looking for the best left-right bullish combo, what we're going to be looking for is the, uh, uh, the bigger the bullish engulfing signal, the more powerful the new uptrend will be. And we're also looking for the signal to occur at a major technical level like a moving average, a trend line, a Fibonacci number, something along that side. So that's how the commentary works. Um, uh, there's a few questions coming in. I'm going to go ahead and kind of uh, come to them as best as I can. Uh, are your patterns identified over several days? Yes, most of them take several days to kind of form like this slow curving days. It's actually looking for a period, like it says, of 5 to 15 trading days. Okay. Um, so hopefully that answers your questions. They're coming in kind of fast. Suppose CPS has a, ooh, <laughs> has a pattern labeled on the chart. If you click on that, do you get a, yes, you do. I guess I showed you that already. Uh, uh, does the explanation include the needing context? That's a really good question, and I don't know that I think so. Um, what I did was I took a lot of the uh, the materials that Steve provided, and what I wanted to do was kind of make it very, very concise, just so that you weren't reading a book while you're trying to make a decision, but including the necessary context. And hopefully I hit that as a goal. Um, I think I did, and I, uh, so I'm going to answer yes. Uh, Randy says, may I add, those who like trading stocks with options, I'm able to scan only optionable stocks with them. Okay. Well, Randy, I'm glad you're using it. It is a really well-liked product. We showed it. A lot of you are giving testimonials, and maybe I missed a few of them. Uh, but it is one of them. Like, we did a big, huge uh, online event a few weeks ago. Maybe it was four or five weeks ago. It was several weeks ago. Um, and uh, we demonstrated quite a few products, and one of the one of the people on there give a really glowing, he's like, I love Steve Bigelow's product because it actually works and it gives me really, really good patterns. So um, appreciate that. Uh, Bill, I do think our identification of the fry pan is very, very good when they show up. Okay. Uh, volume analysis does not come into the recognition patterns at all, um, as far as I remember. It's been a little bit um, since. Uh, Gwen asks a, prod, a question, do you need a trading platform for Metastock? Uh, well, Gwen, to answer that question, um, no. Well, I mean, you need, you need a broker, but you can use your broker. Uh, the nice thing is that we're not a broker, so you can use whoever you want. What we've been always specialized in um, is developing tools that people use uh, and will help them find the right trades at the right time. And uh, so you can use any brokerage that you want. I want to show you a couple of other examples, some things that I find interesting lately. Um, let's go ahead and uh, here's one I'm looking at. I haven't bought this. 
um, I am looking at buying this. <laughs> so uh, there's a there's a little bit of a disclaimer right now. This is Disney. Okay, and um, this is a daily chart. And I just want to kind of show you. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about Disney, probably because it's moved up so dramatically. If you had been following Disney for the last several months during this upward move, uh, let's just look at the patterns that come in. I'm just going to scroll out a little bit. So here you had a fry pan bottom. Okay. Here you had a bull kicker, a left right bullish combo, and then it started to take off. If you miss this as an opportunity, you had a bull kicker and another fry pan bottom right here, followed by a bull kicker. Here is a little bit of a bear kicker. Again, if you're trading with the T line as your exit, this isn't going to be, a, uh, you're going to lose a little bit of money sometimes. But it's been a great chart. Here we just barely had a fry pan bottom. So uh, there's several that are actually identified on this chart. Uh, and here's what the commentary says, because we had that question about the fry pan bottom. This uh, bullish trading pattern captures the psychology behind the price movement as a slow rounding bottom illustrates indecisive trading. As the pattern approaches the same level where it began, the trader sentiment is hinting at a favorable bias to the upside. Watching for any gap, break, uh, gap, any breakout indicators such as a gap up, large bullish candle, or a belt hold creates an alert that it's time to go long. Uh, and again, you'll want to exit on any trading that closes below the trajectory breakout of the rounding body formation. So again, what we're trying to do is give you that context-sensitive information that we were that you're asking about. Like, okay, should I buy this thing? When should I get out? When should I look to buy? Well, you look to buy when you see a breakout indicator, it's like a gap up or a large bullish candle or uh, a, a belt hold, something like that. That'll be your alert to go long. And then you'll look to exit that when this happens. So I tried to make this um, as, uh, as identical and as, as specific as I could. Okay. So let me go ahead, uh, a couple more examples. Let's go ahead and look at Google. This one I'm actually looking at. Okay. Again, with Google, a little bit of a noisier stock. Uh, uh, um, here you've got, uh, though, some really good patterns. Just had a bull kicker today, and I think if it kind of gives me a bullish pattern, or go, a bull kicker yesterday, if I, I think if I see a penetration of this, I, I, I'd go ahead and take that as a long position. Um, let's go ahead and look at another favorite, Apple. And then I'm going to show you how the scanning works. Okay, Apple. Uh, with Apple, I just wanted to kind of show you uh, how well uh, uh, the last pattern. Look at this slow curve. Again, here you had a doji at the top. There was no follow through on that. Uh, but this again, here you had a bit of a slow curve, and there was plenty of follow through on that since that happened. So it's a really, really good product at helping identify when the stocks are about to start to move in a in a nice trend. Um, uh, again, one of my favorites. Let me show you how scanning works. So I'm going to go ahead and open up our Power Console. Right here, if you click on the Explore, Exploration tab, so this is the charting tab. This is where you can open up any of the charts that you want. Here's the scanning tab, and we're going to talk quite a bit about uh, scanning. I'll just kind of walk. It's very, very simple, very straightforward to run a scan. Uh, you can also do system testing and forecasting. Testing is the ability to test trading ideas to see what works in the marketplace. We've got a wonderful system tester in Metastock. And this is our patent pending forecaster, which we will discuss today, but it's, it's a very, very cool tool that does a lot of statistical analysis. So in the Power Console, you'll notice there's kind of two panes. I'm just going to walk you through this. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. Right here, I'm going to just kind of, in this upper pane right here, these are the scans that are available for you. Okay. Everything in Bigelow is called CPS. There's the Doji Dynamite. Um, and if I hover over it, it's going to basically tell you what it's going to look for. So if, if, I, if I put a check mark here, it's going to run a scan on what I select in the bottom for any dojis at the top, doji best friend, left, right bullish, left, right bearish, series of doji, etc. You guys can read. Uh, if I hover over J-hook, that's going to look for my fry pan bottoms and my, uh, my J-hook patterns. If I do the power signals, uh, it's going to give me the bearish kickers, the bullish flutter kicks, the bearish flutter kickers, and uh, then there's price patterns. Uh, this universe and this universe oversold are just some pre-filter scans. Basically, they look for stocks that have a certain price and volume type of criteria. They're part of a bonus download that uh, we give away freely for anybody that owns the uh, CPS product, but it allows you to 
say, okay, well, I want to go ahead and look at the ones that have minimum price and volume requirements. The universe oversold looks at those same uh, price and volume requirements, but in addition, it requires that they also be oversold. So they, uh, they're a scan you can run, let's say, once every three months or so, get a list of all the stocks that fit the, the price and volume criteria, and only scan the results of that on a daily basis to find the patterns. Now, you'll notice I can put a check mark in all of these if I want to. I can run all four of these scans at once. And um, you know, you're certainly welcome to do that. I'm just going to run one just for the point of illustration and to keep things moving a little bit faster today. Okay. One of the things that's really, aside from the, the fact that we offer the uh, Reuters news and information, one of our benefits, uh, major benefits with Reuters um, is the breadth of data that they offer. What I mean by that is if you look here, um, we literally have, uh, right now I could scan against anything that I'm interested in. Uh, Reuters lists 380,312 stocks. Some crazy universe. Now I said stocks, I said that wrong. That includes stocks, that includes futures, that includes equities, indices, mutual funds, ETFs, you name it. It's going to be able to find that. So if you if you're if you like Steve's work and you want to be able but you live in Europe and you want to be able to scan let's say London Stock Exchange, or if you live in Asia and you want to scan let's say the Australian Stock Exchange, you'll be able to do that. If I cl if you click down here, you can actually uh, expand any of the lists, and you'll just notice that the coverage is amazing. They have 191 exchanges that they cover. Uh, last time I counted, it's probably more than that now. Uh, but no matter what you're looking at, you're going to be able to find it, or what you're looking for, you're going to be able to find it, unless it's Jamaica Stock Exchange. That's the one exchange I've come across that Reuters doesn't offer. <laughs> so, uh, but every, so if there's one of you that wants JS, the, the, the uh, Jamaican Stock Exchange, I'm sorry you're out of luck. Everything else I've been able to find in here. If you're in North America, like, like they were saying earlier, like the gentleman was saying earlier, if I would just want to scan the ETFs, I like to trade a few ETFs myself, but not too many, like Dow, um, SPY, that kind of stuff, those ETFs. But if you wanted to scan all of the ETFs, you could just put a check mark right here, and then it's going to scan through all the ETFs for you. Again, since we've got the Doji Dynamite patterns, it's going to be looking for like Doji Best Friends, Left Right Bullish Combos, etc., etc., etc. If I just wanted to do all the optionables, I, I, I love options with, with Steve's. I think it works really good with Steve's patterns. 4,375 optionables right now. I can put a check mark there. It will go ahead and load the optionables, and I can scan against that. Okay. Um, you also have the Toronto, that kind of stuff. Uh, there are also breakdowns here. Um, uh, there's also futures. There's also South America. Um, there's also indexes. But if I wanted to like scan the S&P 500, which is what I'm going to do, I can click right here, and I can come down into index constituents, and I just scroll down a little bit till I find the S&P 500 a little check mark in there and I'm just going to scan those at 500 stocks. Okay. If you want to do sectors and industries, we do have all the uh, sectors and industries as defined by uh, Thomson Reuters. So you can't go in there and say, well, I think beverages look good or I think banking looks like it's going gonna, it's gonna to go up. You could just scan financials here and it'll scan all the, or banking, it'll scan all the banking stocks for you or all the financials uh, as well. Okay, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do just the S&P 500. So uh, right here, I'm going to leave this set at load minimum records. I'm going to scan the current date. Now, if you don't want to scan the current date or the current time, you want to go back like four or five months and see what would have come up on a result so you can kind of do some forward walk through testing. Uh, you can actually put any date that you want in here. I'm going to use the current date. Okay. And what I'm going to do is, uh, right here, I can select the periodicity. I'm going to go ahead and choose daily. And uh, this will allow us to find any patterns that actually form today. To start that scan, I just go ahead and start the exploration. It usually takes about two or three minutes to run. Uh, not a big deal. I had to run it, though, just to kind of keep things moving on pace. And out of the S&P 500, this is kind of the report that I got back today. Okay. So right here we've got the instrument name. It's Western Digital. This is the only thing out of the 505 stocks that are in the S&P 500 that I that actually came back with in a result. It was the Western Digital Corp. Okay. Uh, normally you're going to see more than this. Today it's only one. Uh, but again, 
uh, instead of looking at 500 stocks, now I'm looking at one stock. It's just the let, and I can tell what pattern it is if I look at the columns here. This is Doji at the top. There's a zero. That means that pattern didn't show up. Doji best friend. That's a zero. That pattern left right bullish. This was a left right bearish pattern. It happened today on Western Digital. The symbol is WDC. So let's go ahead and open up that. Okay. I'll go ahead and click on close this out. Okay. And you'll notice I've already applied this particular methodology to the chart. You can kind of see what the patterns have looked like historically. Here's our left right bullish bearish combo today. Um, wow, that's not a bad looking pattern closed right at or below the T-line. I'm going to say right at. I'm going to open up the data window. I'm actually kind of curious about this one. So this is a bit of a data window. I'm going to just highlight over here. Uh, we'll make it a little bit bigger. This is also a dockable window. Let's just dock it over here. Okay. So the 76.35 was the T-line. The close was seven, just barely below the T-line. Okay. Go ahead and close that data window. I was kind of curious. So just close barely below the T-line. We're getting a left-right combo bearish. Okay. Again, um, here's a little bit of an explanation of what this pattern is. Okay. Here's the criteria. Here's the enhancements. Now that's a pretty big bearish candle. Um, tomorrow what I'd be looking for is for it to stay below the T-line and then open below the T-line. And I, I would say that's a very, very good looking signal. Knowing Steve, um, uh, obviously what you'd be looking for as a stop is actually kind of across app above the T-line. I hope you can hear the vacuum. The janitor's coming through. So that's it in a nutshell. Very, very easy product to use. Um, it does come with a training video like a boot camp that helps you, walks you, it's me walking you through how the patterns work, how they're identified, that kind of stuff. But it's a very, very comprehensive platform. And that's how it works. Okay. So let's go back to this. Again, what's included is the four explorations that I showed you, the expert advisor, the layout that puts everything together for you, and the identification of those 20 different patterns. Okay. Oh, I had it right here. Again, this is one multiple uh, times um, um, as, a, as one of the best add-ons in stocks and commodities. It's been available for a few years. Uh, very, very well-loved product. I'm really glad we built it uh, because I use it every day. And it's been very, very popular among our base as well, as well as Steve's customers. So I'd encourage you to try it out. Uh, I don't think we charge enough for it, to be frank. Um, and normally, if you just ordered off our website, it's a $499. That's a one-time cost. Um, it's $399 if you buy it as a result of the webinar today. Uh, as part of that, what we're going to do is we're going to include access to Metastock if you need it. We'll include access to Metastock Zenith, which is the Thomson Reuters icon white label that you guys were asking about earlier. Uh, we're going to include Steve's bonus explorations and also a boot camp that I recorded that will help you get everything configured. And I know traders like a low risk opportunity. Um, uh, if you try this out and you don't like it for any reason, uh, if you contact us within 30 days, we'll turn everything off for you and give you a 30 day a no questions asked money back guarantee. I won't say it's no questions asked. I'm going to walk that back a little bit. We're going to ask you why you didn't like it. And that's just so that we can kind of get that information. Um, because it's feedback. It's valuable for us. Okay. You can order online. You can visit us at metastock.com slash candlestick forum A. You can give us a call at 800-882-3040. We do have a guy on the phone right now, so you're welcome to call if you have more questions about like what icon is or um, kind of that kind of stuff. Uh, and you can also visit us online at metastock.com slash sales chat. Okay. So that's what I had. I want to thank all of you for coming. A great group tonight. Um, do you guys have any last questions for me? Randy says, may I add, those who like trading, oh, I already read that one. I love the, I love the scanning in Metastock, and I love the fact that you can only do, that you can do just option blood. It works really, really good. Thanks, thanks Randy. I really appreciate the compliment. All right, then. Oh, oh, I need to scroll down. I'm not seeing current questions. <laughs> uh, 
Um, KB asks, how much is the monthly subscription if I continue? It's $59 a month for the hourly ver update version of Metastock. So that's the what we call the Metastock daily chart version. Uh, so it starts at $59 and it works out from there. Uh, sorry that I wasn't seeing the questions. I, like, I was wondering if I had explained everything perfectly. Let's run that scan. Sure, I'll run the scan for you. Um, the other thing that I like about Metastock is the way it's designed. You'll notice it's still got exactly the same scan I ran yet, uh, last time selected. So if I'm running in the same scan every day, I just have to click the Start Exploration button, and it's going to go ahead and run the scan for me. So we'll go ahead and let that run. I'll answer a few questions. Um, it, does, it is a little bit slower when I run it online uh, while I'm broadcasting audio, just because that's, uh, it's network intensive to do all of those things. So the T-line is the eight-period exponential moving average. What key must be held to do multi-scans? No keys have to be held at all. All you do is just check mark each of the scans you want to run. Okay. Uh, Harry says, did you, did you say daily Metastock includes hourly data? It updates hourly. So every hour you can kind of go in there and see what the market is doing that day. It only does daily charts like weekly charts, monthly charts, that kind of stuff. Um, and it's only 59 bucks a month, but it does update during the day. So, and the fact that it updates hourly is really, really cool because now if you're using DC and you want to run a scan, okay, so the report's done, okay, and then you can just click on this button to click and see the reports. It's the same report I just showed you, okay. Um, lost my train of thought. Oh, so you can go in at any point in the day if you just want to see something that's maybe forming a pattern and get in before the close. You can run the scan um, on the last hour of the day and then uh, enter a trade that way if you want to. So um, very, very cool that they, uh, that they now include hourly updates in that product. Uh, it, uh, $59 on up, like the real-time packages can cost about $250 a month. But there's even cheaper ways to do that. So I'd recommend, um, if you're interested in real time or you kind of want to get out a good idea of what it will cost you, um, uh, just give us a call, 1-800-882-3040. They can talk about to you about what you're trading and what you want to do and come up with the best price point for you. Um, let's see. There was a question from Ty. Uh, Peter asked a, a question, is it, pan, uh, is it possible to scan for weekly MACD buys and sells? You better believe it is. It is a built-in scan. Um, if I come back in here uh, and, and go to the scanner, there's one in here that's called Equus MACD. There's a lot of built-in systems. The Equus MACD is built in as well. But if you come to Equus MACD, it will look for buy and sell signals based on the MACD cross. And you can also create your own scans. And it's fairly easy to do, but you can actually say, well, I want to be able to scan for when MACD does this, plus volume does this, plus this and this. It's a very, very customizable platform. Ty, uh, if, if I miss a question, it might be best to uh, repost it. I'm going to go look for your question, okay? Uh, Ty, 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 Ty. Ty, can you scan Forex and does it work with Forex? Okay, I found it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yes, absolutely. If you look right here, um, one of the uh, Forex is a whole category in and of itself. Forex, um, right here, what we've got is we've got the major pairs because Reuters has like all of the pairs. Like it covers 368 pairs. And if you come in here, there's all kinds of crazy stuff that you're probably not interested, like the Ruby and Florin. So if you just want to run a scan against the major pairs, well, here's the 36 major pairs, and you can just run a scan against that. Of course, if you're interested in something um, kind of weird like the Albion, Albanian LEC, you can, you can actually look at it. Um, it is available through Reuters. It isn't just a few Forex platforms. The Explorer, I, yeah, you're right. It does look like handcuffs. I didn't design that logo, but now that you say that, uh, I see it. <laughs> you bet, Chan. Fabian, that's exactly correct. If you go to metastock.com slash candlestick forum A, I'll show you. Um, it's a, a 290. Oh, is it 299? Is it 299? I might have actually, um, if we charge them 299 for this thing, number one, I need to update our platform, my pricing. 
And number two, um, we are really, really giving you a value there. So $100 off. And I bet you're right, $299. So it's not $399. It's $299. What a bargain. Give it a go. <laughs> now what you'll do, okay, to, now since we're already on this page, what you'll do is you'll click on this Steve Bigelow Candlestick Profit System. If you click on Daily Charts, it's going to give you a free trial of the Daily Chart version. If you click on Real Time, it's going to give you a real time. It'll help you configure this as well. And you'll just click on Order Now, and it'll help you get everything set up. So very, uh, very, very easy. If you're already a Metastock user, just don't select the Metastock option. Click on Order Now, and it'll help you get it going. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to use the weekly MACD. I think your answer was Peter says. I'm glad you asked the question, the follow-up question, Peter. Thank you for that. Um, here, this is the um, Equus MACD. Okay, so this will scan for buys and sells on a daily chart with a daily MACD. If I change this over to weekly, it's going to do a weekly chart with a weekly MACD. And so I believe that that is kind of like what you're looking for. If not, clarify. Um, Fabian asks another good question. Is this, a, is this something that's run through a browser? Is this a download? It's a download. Uh, it's definitely a, a program, especially if you, as you start to kind of dive into our, um, uh, the functionality of Metastock, like the forecaster and all the statistical analytics that it's doing. It's not something that's palatable through a browser yet. It's getting there, though. So, but it is a download program. It's a program that you run on your desktop. And it does require Windows. Uh, which means, going back to that Mac question, um, you, we do have a lot of customers that are successful using on the Mac, but they do it through boot camp. We did record it for you, Ben. I'm sorry you're a little bit late, but we did record it, and we will, as long as you register, send you a recording. Uh, Bob asked another good question. Um, if it, Can I download it one time, or can we download it on multiple devices? That's... Um, uh, the answer to that is you can install it on as many machines as you want, and you can use it on one machine at a time. Fabian, that should work for you uh, through Parallels. Oh, Bob, thank you. If, and if you guys need anything, I don't think I put a slide of this together, but if you're, um, you know, um, if you have questions for me or if there's anything I can do to help. Um, email me. Uh, it's just jeffrey.gibby at metastock.com. I am on the road. I'm going up to Portland tomorrow. I'm going to do an in-person class in Portland and Denver this weekend. Um, so give me a little bit of extra time to get back to you, but I, I, I definitely will respond. All right, guys. Any questions that I missed? Because I know there was a bunch there that I didn't see. If you have another question that you want me to answer before I jump off, just type it in. Bill L. asks for, um, I don't have a recommended Forex broker, David. Um, I actually um, I actually use a trade, a TD Ameritrade for my broker, but um, I do stocks and options. I understand I'm overpaying for it, uh, but I really like their mobile app. <laughs> so, Haguro uh, Weeklies um, is a whole another ball of wax. And yes, I actually, um, the Haguro stuff I put together, um, with a friend of mine down in Australia, um, and uh, you can if, if uh, you can, uh, it's a whole different subject. But there is um, a Haguro scan in here. It's part of 15. It's included for free. So if you sign up, you'll get it. And we scan for the three, the candle three, and the midpoint cross. Okay. We also look for a candle three that has a uh, 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 closer minus seven percent range. I'm curious, Bill, um, did you find out about Hagura through some of the webinars we did? <laughs> Bill, I like the Hagura stuff. It was, um, it was some stuff that uh, we put together for, uh, yeah, again, my buddy Gary Burton. Uh, it was based on the work of Siki Shimzu. It's very, very interesting methodology. Uh, something, uh, and we just put it together um, and offered it to people for free. I sent a copy it over to uh, the late Dennis Peterson, which was a buddy of mine over at uh, uh, Stocks and Commodities, and had him review it. He loved it. 
I liked it so much that we just decided to include it with every meta stock that goes out. So. Uh, Harry says, the stock symbol may be at the top of your chart, but it is very blurry for me to read. I'll ask, um, is that, Harry, is that on your meta stock, or is that just when we're broadcasting the chart? Because uh, for me, I can see it pretty good on my own window. Um, but um, if you want us to make that bigger, I'll put in a suggestion for you. Steve asked another question. Can you scan for normal candle patterns, like the hammer, that kind of stuff? Yes, you can. In fact, um, um, I'll just show you this because it's kind of cool. We're going we're gonna all over the place today, guys. Uh, I'm going to attach a little bit of a different expert to the chart. It's called the Equus Candlesticks. Okay. Now, this is, um, unlike Steve's product, this just scans for single day, or, or this, this just shows you single day patterns. Like, um, um, well, I'll just attach it. <laughs> Close it. So if I put this to the chart, we had a big black candle. Yesterday we had a long lower shadow, a big white candle, a big white candle. You can see that it's identifying, uh, I think it's about 30 uh, single day patterns. And as was with the commentary, that was a, a you noticed it popped up an alert because we had something today. And it tells you a little bit about that candle. So if you're searching for the meaning of candles, right here it's going to look at all those Japanese single Excuse me, I got the hiccups. I'm going to drink a little bit of coffee, and hopefully that'll help the hiccups. I drink water, but I don't have it in here. But this will identify all the patterns, uh, all the single, a lot of the single day patterns for you, tell you what they mean, and you can scan for these fairly easily as well. So to answer that question, yes. Okay, so just this webinar. Okay, okay, fair enough. I've heard that from other webinars as well, and. Um, um, I don't. I can't say that I disagree with you. Um, I was curious to see if it was too small for you uh, on, in a meta stock installation. So, um, George, um, what's my favorite scanning system? I use CPS every day. <laughs> so, and uh, the patterns that I like is the Doji Best Friend. It's a very good one, um, and then the um, the the Fry Pan Bottom. And the kickers are not too bad either. It's every, uh, Fabian, the daily is updated every hour starting an hour and a half after the open. All right, guys. I'm going to go play. I'm going to go spend a little bit of time with my kids, uh, and then I'm going to go over to Portland. Thanks for coming. Uh, I put my email address out there earlier if you have questions, if I can help you. <laughs> My wife loves this thing. It's a great one. Uh, like, um, I know uh, Steve at one point, and I think the reason I kind of started to gravitate to that one is I was traveling with Steve. I think we are in Pennsylvania, and he said, uh, this is one of my favorite patterns. It's his Goji best friend. So I hear you, brother. All right, guys. That's it for me. Thanks for coming. I'll see you guys at the next one, and thanks for coming in. Again, if there's anything I can – let me put the, uh, the uh, information up here again. And again, it's not $4.99, it's actually $2.99. A little bit of attention to detail for me. We'll still give you all the bonuses, though. Uh, Metastock.com slash candlestick for a May, or you can call 800-882-3040, or uh, visit us if you have questions you want to chat about, metastock.com slash sales chat. Thank you very much, Jeff. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I, I highly recommend Metastock. Uh, the, only, the only thing I could say bad about Metastock is it's got so much good stuff on it, you'll never get to use it all. Um, you could spend many hours just investigating all the uh, information and uh, techniques, uh, te 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 technical analysis uh, indicators they've got on their system. So. Uh, and the best thing about their software, I'd say the best thing about their software, one of the great things about their software is if you ever have a problem or a question, you just call customer service, and they are probably the best customer service system in the investment community. So with that, Jeff, 
have fun in uh, Portland. Everybody have a good evening. We will see you bright and early in the chat rooms. <laughs>